Today's video is sort of a continuation of our last video on DNA. And we're going to take a look at a whole bunch of different terms to see what an allele is and what the differences are between dominant and recessive, homozygous and heterozygous, and also genotype and phenotype. Now, all of these terms are related to genes. And remember, a gene is just a segment of DNA that codes for a particular type of protein. Together, these genes we inherit determine the characteristics that we go on to develop. Sometimes, these traits are determined by a single gene, like the ones that code for fur color in mites and red-green color blindness in humans. More often, though, our characteristics are determined by several different genes that interact with each other. For example, there are loads of genes that code for height, which is one of the reasons why we're all different sizes. If we look back at the definition of a gene, you'll notice that it codes for a particular type of protein. The reason I say type of protein is that there are often multiple forms of the same protein. And so there'll be a different genetic code for each of those forms. And we call these different codes alleles. So you can think of alleles as different versions of the same gene. Because we have two copies of every gene, one from each of our parents, it means that we'll have two alleles of each gene. And these could both be the same allele, or they could be two different alleles. If they were the same, we'd say that we're homozygous for that allele. Whereas if they were different, we would be heterozygous. This brings a bit of a problem though. Say we had a mouse that was heterozygous for fur color, with one allele coding for purple fur, and the other for green fur. What color would our mouse be? Well, it's not going to be a mix of the two. Instead, one of the alleles will be dominant, and the other one will be recessive. And it's always a dominant one that gets expressed. So if the purple allele was dominant to the green allele, which would make that green allele recessive, then our heterozygous mouse would be purple. This means that the only way to have a green mouse is if both of its alleles were for green fur, which we would call homozygous recessive. On the other hand, the purple allele will always be expressed when it's present, regardless of whether the mouse is heterozygous or homozygous for the purple allele. Now, the last two terms that we need to cover are genotype and phenotype. The genotype is basically the entire collection of alleles that we have. So if we take the three mice that we used before, the heterozygous mouse, the homozygous dominant, and the homozygous recessive one, we would say that they all have different genotypes because they have different alleles and so different genetic codes. However, your phenotype is the characteristics that you get from your genotype. So as both the heterozygous mouse and the homozygous dominant mouse are purple, we would say that they have the same phenotype even though they had different genotypes. Meanwhile, because our homozygous recessive mouse is green rather than purple, it has a different phenotype, as well as a different genotype. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions and past papers and we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next so sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on youtube